The BFAR resupply and gift-giving mission was well-planned, but did not pan out exactly as intended, with the northeast monsoon winds blowing hard and giving water vessels a hard time to maneuver. It started on a Friday afternoon, and then after the mission went into the clear, the 40 Filipino boats received their much-needed fuel subsidies and Christmas gifts, as our Noel Talaka details in this report. 3.10 in the afternoon of December 8, BRP Dato Bangkao and BRP Dato Sandai left from Port Kapinpin in Orion, Bataan, while BRP Dato Tamblot was coming from Suwal, Pangasinan. Those were the vessels of Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources, or BFAR, conducting humanitarian and support mission to Filipino fishermen in Scarborough Shoal or Bajo de Masinlok. December 10, at 8 in the morning, they arrived at the location. 8.11 a.m., Chinese Coast Guard sent the first raided challenge to BRP Dato Bangkao as a warning. BFAR ships received raided challenge three times. Until Chinese Coast Guard vessels deployed their water cannon, Four of those were direct hits on B4 ships. 11.30 a.m., Dato Bangkao was first hit the water cannon. It happened again at 11.52 a.m. 11.55 a.m., BRP Dato Tamblot was the next target. It was again lambasted with high pressure of water by two Chinese Coast Guard vessels at the same time. While BRP Dato Sandai was giving fuel and distributing grocery packs to fishermen, the water cannon was fired at the side of Dato Sandai at 2.24 in the afternoon. The Chinese maritime militia vessels made at least 15 times dangerous maneuver just to block the way and prevent the BFAR ships to proceed to Bajo de Masinlok. They also rammed the BRP Dato Bangkao twice, causing damages, some of its part. 2.30 p.m. of December 9 was the first ramming incident which resulted in the damage of its railings. It happened again at 5 p.m. wherein its starboard side was damaged. Ang unang bangga po is yung port side, tapos yung pangalawang gas is starboard side po. Ang bali, ang damage po nun, yung railings at saka yung gilid po ng starboard side. Ang bumangga po ay yung militia vessels po, binangga po yung barko natin, ang BFAR. Uh, he said the ramming incident was dangerous because this might drown the vessel. Delegado po yung pagbanggang yon, kasi maari po mabutas yung barko natin na pwede pong ikalubog. A floating barrier was also seen around Bajo de Masinlok. According to the Philippine Coast Guard, it was set up again by Chinese Coast Guard at 7 in the morning on December 9. There were also instances that Chinese maritime militia personnel was shouting at the BFAR fleet saying, go away. This caused Chinese coast guards and BFAR personnel to give chase to each other. In the afternoon of December 9, the fleet of BFAR was about to go back to Port Kapinpin, but it was halted in fear that Chinese coast guard and maritime militia might retaliate on Filipino fishermen over aggression incidents. That's why they decided to leave the area on December 10 at 11 a.m. Kagabi po, uh, inaano po natin yun, ina-assess po natin yung situation uh, para po malaman, para po ma maprotektahan natin kung ibang mayingis na baka sila po ang balikan sa mga nangyari. In spite of the Chinese aggression, the BFAR said the humanitarian and support mission in Scarborough Shoal was still successful as they provided fuel subsidy, Noche Buena package, food and water to more or less 40 Filipino boats. Masaya po, gawa ng umabot pa. Libre na po sa konsumo namin. He wished no more harassment from Chinese Coast Guard so they can catch fish freely and peacefully in Bajo de Masinlok. Takot na takot sir, gawa ng malaking, malaking barko nila. Yung amin, bangka lang. Isang bangka lang sa amin nun. Wala na. Kaya takot nga po sir. 
naglalakas loob na lang, gawa ng walang pag-guide. According to BFAR, this is the last humanitarian and support mission for this year in Scarborough Shoal due to bad weather which resulted in huge waves. But for our Filipino fishermen, they will continue their eke out their livelihoods at the Bajo de Masinloc regardless of fire and nasty weather and the harassment of the Chinese Coast Guard to put food on the table. Noel Talakay for the Nation.